this is Casey the Game Nerd back at you with another pickups video. In this video, it's going to be a whole bunch of just random pickups. A lot of it's uh, trade related. So I do a lot of trades with uh, people on Facebook and uh, locally as well. Um, so I'll show you all of that. So let's go ahead and start with um, this note. Hey Casey, I threw in some extra stuff. The Super Mario game doesn't work for some reason, but if you can fix it, then you'll have another Mario game. Thanks for the trade, Danny. Uh, so Danny, he wanted a copy of this. This is Magical Chase for Game Boy Color. As many of you guys know, this was only released in Japan. So the Japanese uh, Magical Chase is really expensive, uh, complete in box especially. Um, so there's a reproduction cart, and I have a, a few of these, so I decided to trade them one. So I actually have some more, so if anybody wants to trade, just let me know. I traded him one of those, and I also traded him um, Mario Strikers for GameCube. He gave me Super Mario Bros. That's the broken one, but we'll see if I can fix it. Um, um, so far, I haven't had any luck. Uh, the Adventures of Batman and Robin. X-Men, also for the Game Gear. And he threw in Double Dragon. This wasn't really included in the, the trade. I mainly wanted this game. And it is Dragon Warrior 7 for PlayStation 1. Um, and it's in fantastic condition and it's complete. I had this a long time ago. I traded it to a good friend of mine. Um, he really deserved it because he was a big Dragon Warrior fan. So I traded it to him for something I needed. Um, now I got it back, so that's fantastic. All right, on to the next trade I did with my friend John. He contacted me through Facebook. He wanted a copy of Pokemon Green. It's a reproduction cart. And this is a special one because it, I used a green um, Game Boy cartridge mold, not a painted uh, Game Boy cartridge. I didn't paint it green. This is an official mold that somebody made, a custom Game Boy Color mo mold. Um, so he wanted that and um, a custom box that somebody did for me. So I gave him that. He gave me Alien vs. Predator for Super Nintendo. Uh, labels jacked up, but it works. Um, Kirby Triple Deluxe. That's uh, case only. Um, Tenkai Knights. Brave Battle. And Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the 3DS. Again, the 3DS uh, are just cases, but these are GameCube games, and they do include the game um, and the manual. So we got Super Mario Sunshine and The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Um, so those are some good extras that I could definitely trade off later. So thanks for that. Now I want to show you some cool stuff that I got for my buddy Mark. Uh, I traded him um, Mega Man X8 for uh, PS2 and Phantom Brave for PS2. So he's really into uh, the PlayStation 2 stuff and he is a dumpster diver. So check out his channel, Devil Soldier. Um, he finds lots of really cool stuff. Um, he's in the California area, so I guess there's a lot of good stuff in their dumpsters. So he threw in a bunch of extras, so I'll show you all those. Got this Mad Max uh, car here. This, oh, this is a pin. Rise of the Tomb Raider pin. That's pretty awesome. Um, he threw in this cool lanyard for PlayStation. Actually, I'll put that on right now. Uh, he threw in uh, Battletoads. This is a pin. And we got this t-shirt. Superhuman hearing and on the back GameStop power to the players. I should just wear that in the GameStop store and pretend I work at GameStop get a employee discount or something uh, He gave me this poster um, This is for Metal Gear Solid, so it's a poster of the, the Mother base and a bunch of other areas in the map um, including this um, Metal Gear Solid uh, piece of art here that's pretty cool. And this PlayStation, welcome to the PlayStation uh, guide booklet thing. 
Oh, maybe it was part of the PlayStation 20th anniversary celebration. He also threw in a bunch of comics. You got Sabretooth. Now, I like looking through these to see if there's... Ah, here we go. This is cool. Looking through the old comics and finding the ads for retro games. We got Lethal Enforcers for Sega CD. That, that's pretty awesome. You got $20.99 Unlimited. Iron Man. Um, this is a newer one, so there's definitely no retro uh, ads on there. Then we got Thor Corps. Ah, this one does have retro stuff. On the very back, we have Captain America for Super Nintendo and the arcade uh, cabinet there. He threw in a couple uh, sports Genesis games, uh, Joe Montana and uh, Madden game. And this, I have never encountered before. This is a RCA uh, plug and play. So I'll have to test it out, see what cool games are on there. And what else did he give me? Oh, here we go. So this is what I really traded for. So he gave me, um, uh, this was a bonus actually, the web browser, uh, web browser 2.0 for Dreamcast. Uh, Monkey Magic for PS1. I did not have this. As you guys know, I'm going for the full set, so that's another one to add to the list. Rock'em Sock'em Robots Arena. And the one I really wanted, Speed Devils Beta Test Copy Number One, not for resale. I never see this, and this is really, really awesome to find. Okay. I want to show you some Dreamcast stuff since we were just talking about it. And this bundle came from the uh, Neo Geo Dev Team, okay? And these are brand new Dreamcast games. And what they do is they release them so that it's region free so you could play them on your Japanese console, your your uh, PAL console or your um, US console. Um, this one is Gunlord. So these are all shoot 'em up games. Um, and Dreamcast is really known for their good shoot 'em ups shooters and their um, their 2D fighting games. So on the back, even though it's in a Japanese language, it is region free. Um, this next one is uh, Fast Striker, and this is another shoot 'em up. This game looks like like a bullet hell game because it boasts that it can have up to 180 bullets on the screen at any given time. So I could imagine how difficult that game is. And then the last game, uh, fittingly, is called Last Hope. Um, and this is another shoot 'em up game. So these were uh, very limited on their website. Uh, they might make a se second printing. Um, they originally came in DVD cases, but I really prefer the um, CD jewel case versions. So that is cool. Now I want to show you some prizes that I got, or a prize, I got from Chris Dodd from the Seattle Retro Gamers Group. And this is a very tight-knit retro gamers group, and I really appreciate him for um, giving me this. I won the prize. It was a random drawing. Um, this is Counter-Terrorist Special Forces 2, and it's sealed. Now, I don't know if I'm going to break the seal on this, but this game looks pretty fun. It, it looks like a Metal Gear, I mean, um, a Metal Slug, excuse me. Um, type of game. So you can have up to four uh, different characters that you could play with and you can link up your Game Boy Advances so you could do multiplayer. Um, there's like 20 different levels and five worlds. So pretty cool game there. Thank you Chris. Next I want to show you some other PlayStation games I picked up. Um, I'm like under 200. I don't know the exact number. Under 200 left for the set. We got Mega Man Legends 2, um, Resident Evil Survivor, Mega Man X4, and surprisingly, I never got this. I, I know it's a really common game, really common Mega Man game, but I never encountered it. Um, Mega Man 8, this is the anniversary edition. I have that for uh, Sega Saturn, but now I have it for PS1. Devil Dice, this is like a puzzle game. 
over a thousand puzzles to solve. So that one looks like it might be pretty addicting. I'll have to try it. But the one I really want to try is this. This is Psychic Force. Um, it's a fighting game, a 3D fighting game, kind of like, uh, think of Dragon Ball Z. So you're up in the air, you're fighting um, each other, and then you're you're doing all your super cool power moves and stuff. And lastly, uh, Jupiter Strike, and this is just a 3D uh, space shooter game. Got this for four bucks, shipped. Man, there's some good deals out there. You just gotta look. Oh shoot, I forgot to show you. I also got these from Mark. Um, man, he just threw in so many extras. Uh, thanks, Mark. Bunch of Skylanders. Um, my nephew's really gonna enjoy this because he recently got into uh, Skylanders, so thank you for throwing that in for free. Um, oh, Star Wars. Now, this isn't a regular Star Wars game. This is a Star Wars Episode One Racer. Not for resale. Right there. Um, so this leaves me with two not for resale carts left for the whole set and it's the hardest two to get um, it's the Majora's Mask uh, gray cart which is like I don't know 1500 bucks last time I saw it on online I'm never gonna pay that amount but you never know if I can find one in the wild that'd be fantastic and then the other one is um, Yoshi Story International Edition um, so it's a Yoshi Story demo cart, and I think they just slapped on a, a sticker on there for uh, to make it not for resale. But anyways, that one's going for like freaking 600 bucks, dude. It's crazy. Um, another cool deal I got from a uh, Nintendo 64 buy sell trade group. We got Micro Machines, complete in box, and it comes with a, the Micro Machine. You never really find that. Um, I've seen the box before, but... Um, usually the micro machine is missing and then we got duck dodgers completing the box so you guys gotta join those Facebook groups they are fantastic um, speaking of Facebook groups pick one of these up this is a turbo graphics 16 and a turbo graphics CD and it came with all the cords, accessories, um, the controller, and it even came with the TurboGrafx CD system card. Um, got a fantastic deal on that on the Facebook group. Um, but I was really excited to play some of these games that I picked up a long time ago. This is a Godzilla um, Dracula X. Um, what's this? Dungeon Explorer 2. And... Bonk 3. But I found out I need a system card 3.0 which is like impossible to find so I'm not e even able to play these games yet. Um, but there are some other games that I have that do play on the uh, TurboGrafx CD. Um, if you guys have not picked up a uh, TurboGrafx-16 system I suggest you do. They have really really quality games um, especially um, shoot 'em up games. Really good. Oh, I went to a trade night event um, in Renton. Um, got this, Bayonetta 2. Um, I've been looking for this, the one with the Bayonet Bayonetta 1 CD. I got it for 15 bucks. Um, you guys gotta check out these um, local uh, game swap nights. They are fantastic because you can either buy stuff, you could sell stuff, or you can trade stuff. So there's lots of options, and usually it's free. Um, so just talk to your local retro gaming um, store, and maybe they'll set one up if they haven't already, or they'll set a new one up. I picked these up at uh, Desert Industries. This is uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run, two bucks, and The Simpsons The Game for two bucks as well. Speaking of $2 games, I went to a pawn shop. I'm going to show you guys a kind of a trick or um, the art of persuasion, I guess. Uh, I found these games. We got Obscure, Smash Brothers, Brawl, and uh, Mario Kart. So, 
the more pricier games, Mario Kart and uh, Super Smash Brothers, they didn't have a price on it. But I found a game, Obscure, which is an obscure title to find. It's kind of uncommon. It was a buck ninety-nine, so I was gonna get this anyways. So what I did was I took the three games, walked up to the front, and I s showed it like this. Hey, um, how much are these Wii games? Oh, it's like a dollar ninety-nine, so it's a buck ninety-nine each. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's a buck ninety-nine. So they're not seeing the titles; they're just seeing the this one, which they probably haven't even heard of for a buck ninety-nine, right? So they're starting to scan it. Then they see the uh, Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart, and they're like, uh, actually, and before they finish that sentence, just cut them off and say, ah, uh, you already said two bucks, come on. And then usually they're like, all right, all right, we'll do it for two bucks. So two bucks each, that's what I paid. So try that out if you guys um, have some pawn shops, and uh, let, let me know if that works for you guys. Um, got this on Amazon. Um, I don't have very many uh, Super Nintendo games left for the set. Um, I don't remember exactly, is it like six games left or five? But uh, Fire Striker, um, this was one I've been really looking for. Um, it's really hard to find and I got it for a good price because um, when it was listed, everything was all blacked out. There was black marker marks everywhere on the cart, but the label was good. So I took the chance, got it, it worked, which is good, and then I used Magic Eraser, and it worked pretty well, you know, it looks pretty decent. Okay, now I want to show you guys um, some Sega Saturn stuff, and it, and you guys know that I'm going for the Sega Saturn sets, I have like four or five games left for the set, I have to double check that, but these were picked up. Um, we got Marvel Super Heroes. Um, this is a really pricey game, but what I decided to do was get in piecemeal. So this is a good trick too if um, if you guys find a case and a manual that's really cheap and it's a game that you want, just buy it. Um, don't wait till you um, have to find a complete and box one because you can find the disc only um, relatively cheap in most cases. So I, I found the um, case and manual um, really cheap, and then my buddy Don, he gave me the game disc for like 20 bucks. So instead of paying the going rate for a complete in box uh, copy, I bought it in pieces and it ended up being cheaper. I also got a Virtual Casino. Look at those hot ladies. Um, polygon goodness there. We got... Scud. Um, this is a uh, light gun or um, stunner, I guess, is what they, they call it for the Saturn stunner game. Another stunner gun game is a Crypt Killer. Um, I had the disc for this, but I didn't have it complete in box. Now, this one I did not buy in pieces. It was too hard. I can't find the, the manual in case by itself, so I ended up just getting it um, in full. This one I also got in, in piecemeal. I got the, uh, the disc first and I got the uh, case and manual. Um, the cool thing about this was I found somebody selling just the artwork um, without the case. So it was a lot cheaper because um, it wasn't just a blank case with the manual and back art. So they were just selling the manual and back art by itself. I think it was because it was easier to ship that way. Um, but I ended up getting this Galaxy Fight, which is a, a fighting game, and they actually released it for uh, Neo Geo MVS too. So that's where I first heard about it. Then we got Power Slave. This is another game that came out on multiple systems. It came out for the uh, PlayStation 1 as well, um, but the Sega Saturn version is superior. Um, the textural graphics, um, way better on the Saturn, at least for this game. Congo, never played this game. Um, I remember the movie though. And Winter Heat is the last game I'm going to show you guys for the Saturn. And this is a Sega exclusive. Um, there's like 11 uh, uh, Winter Sports games on this, and it's actually pretty fun. Um, so if you guys haven't played that, try it out. Let's see what's left here. 
Oh. Got a stack of uh, PS1 games. Again, going for the set, so I got to pick up these games. We got Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Syndicate Wars. That looks like a pretty fun game, actually. So it's a multiplayer up to four players. Um, we got Test Drive Off-Road 3. Batman and Robin. Oh. I'll have to try that out. We got The Mummy with Brendan Fraser when he was at his peak before he started doing those kid kiddie movies. <laughs> And we got uh, the next Tetris and another Need for Speed. This one is Porsche Unleashed. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you guys, um, I want to thank Gavin for this. Um, Gavin on Facebook had this brand new sealed DSi with Mario Party. And I rarely see this. Um, so he gave me a good deal on it. Uh, he gave it to me for 80 bucks, including shipping. Um, found out he was actually in the same state as me, um, but we were both so busy that we couldn't just meet. Um, he actually lived like uh, almost an hour away, um, so I guess we weren't that close. But thank you so much. Um, this is really awesome. I've never even owned an orange DSi. But it's cool having a brand new sealed one with Mario Party. So that's all my pickups for um, this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe below. I really appreciate it. It really helps. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.